something about a fire. In, well, in human civilization, it's, it's the caveman needed a fire. <laughs> The Bonfire Game, a tradition that has lived on through ecumenical councils, extraordinary synods, and the cultural contributions of Madonna and Britney Spears. From the South Shore Notre Dame Seminary, hailing from the heart of New Orleans, invade the North Shore once a year. They have seen a revitalization taking both the Ravens' former quarterback Blake Dubrock and wide receiver Andrew Schumacher. This year, Notre Dame, the two-time champions of Loyola Elite, has proven unstoppable against minimal competition only allowing four touchdowns in five games. A potent offense led by star rookie wide receiver Joseph Carraway has carved up defenses through speed, accuracy, and trickery. On the other side of the lake, the home team, the St. Ben's Ravens, who many think may be going through a rebuilding year. The Ravens, the reigning bonfire champs, winner of the last two previous bonfire games, have dominated in recent history, winning six out of its last seven bonfire games. But replacing veterans brings more questions than answers. The Ravens traditionally do not play in a league, focusing all their hard work and practice on a single game. A team shrouded in mystery will have many new and unproven starters filling roles where experience once reigned. Will the Ravens complete what LeBron and the Heat failed to do? Or will Notre Dame deny the Ravens of their dynasty and take back the trophy to South Carrollton Avenue? This is the granddaddy of them all, bigger than the kind play. A college playoff without the playoff. This is Bonfire Flag Football on the Archdiocesan Network.